What's going on, everybody? It's Greenlight Fire Station 7. Uh, today, I have another package. I uh, ordered this because the truck that I've ordered is kind of fits close to home for me. It's a uh, Ertl truck. It's in here. It's a Ertl fire engine. Let me uh, just kind of get this thing open. The person I bought this from was on Facebook. I saw this truck pop up. I've been looking for one for a while. And I just really could not pass on the sale of it. Sorry guys, it's just really, really, really wrapped up in plastic here. Alright, so here it is. This truck is the Buffalo, New York Pierce, uh, I think it's a Lance uh, fire truck and 164th scale. This truck is awesome because it hits pretty close to home. When I first started in the fire department, we had a 1980. Three and an 87 Pierce Arrow. And it was different, similar but different cab. Same kind of um, rear style. Here's the back of it. On this side is missing a ladder and missing the hard suction hose, but that's all right. I will um, probably make a ladder and, and figure some, some stuff out. <clears throat> for this truck <clears throat> I might actually have something I can steal a ladder off of or something for this truck we'll, you know we'll see what we can come up with but this truck is going to get the Buffalo Fire Department and company number two taken off of it and I'm actually doing a Suffield Fire Department engine two because the truck that I had that was like this I worked with an engine two I'm actually going to name it engine two and I'm going to put those right on the side of the truck obviously this truck's pretty dusty it needs to be cleaned up and whatnot. Um, as you can see right there. So I'm going to go ahead and clean the truck up. There's some screws on the bottom. I can take her apart. Uh, <clears throat> which is what I'm going to end up doing. I'm going to end up kind of disassembling the truck. Get it cleaned up. And then uh, we're going to put back together. And we will go ahead and we will do soft field fire right here. And then company two right here. I have to get... Um, some water slide to do that with so all right guys it's a quick little three minute video but this is the truck that i got i am going to take this truck apart and i'm going to clean it up and everything um this truck's got some weight to it actually you know what? let's take a look at it yeah real quick so <clears throat> you have your air horns on the roof you this truck has a grill the one that i had didn't have a grill at this metal piece just wrapped across or the truck that I rode on didn't have the grill so I believe this is a dash this is either a dash or a old older lance the one I had was I was on was an arrow but kind of all this is still the same you have your rear quarters for your right guys riding in the rear pump panel cross lays uh, door for your uh, male and female cu hose couplers. You have your pump panel. And then you have your uh, your compartments. Bottle holders or gas, I mean, or diesel fuel tank, depending on which side. Hard suction hose to go here. I have to find something to work for a hard suction hose too. You got a ladder to go here. Relays. Rear compartment, we always stored uh, hearse tools there. Diesel fuel up, fill up is there, I think. You got some more uh, compartments for things. Uh, the curbside connectors. Another compartment for more male female connectors. Back to the front of the truck. I'm going to be honest with you guys, this, just reviewing this truck brings back a lot of memories. And uh, I think it had an 8V64 Detroit 
in it. The one I had, it was I was on. It was a two-stroke Detroit. Um, if you guys ever hear a two-stroke Detroit, you'll hear it sound like the motor screaming, but it never gets out of its own way. So um, this truck hits really close to home for me. Um, it's the reason why I bought it. So yeah, the company number one or two Buffalo, New York. Fire department, that's all going to come off, and then it's going to get redone. So so a couple days later, here we are. I got the truck all pulled apart here. Um, I decided instead of making it engine 2, I had an issue with water slide decals. I ended up making it engine 6. There's just a quick sneak peek. Um, so now, we'll go ahead and put the truck back together, and I'll show you what. So here's the finished product. I was going to do it after a fire truck that I first rode on. Um... In my hometown, but I was having an issue with the water slide decals winding up on here. And so we just went ahead and we're going to call this the old engine 6 before squad 61. So this truck, I did some research on this. Um, obviously, the unboxings part of this video happened um, prior to anything on this truck. I did anything in this truck. So <clears throat> this truck is a... Uh, a 91 Pierce Lance. So let me go through and show you guys some of the details that I've done. Um, obviously, the first couple things you're gonna notice is the six on the door or on the back area where the jump jump seats are. The little American flag and the uh, antennas on the roof. So with this truck, um, luckily this truck comes apart. Comes apart into three sections. You have your base with your wheels. The cab comes off. And then you have um, the rest of the body where, you know, the pump handle is and going back into the side of the truck. So we're going to go ahead and start with the truck and I'll just kind of go around it and show you guys all that I've done on it. So the front of the truck here, I went ahead and colored in the headlights. And these are um, correct with, I, t I looked at some pictures of these trucks. So this is correct with the way the front of the truck looks. Blinkers on the top outside, flashing lights on the middle. Both headlights, the outer ones are low beams, the middle ones are going to be your high beams. I colored in the Pierce logo red. I colored in, I picked the truck up. I colored in the air horns the best I could, um, as well as I colored in uh, the cab lights orange. And there's a little bit of paint on that plastic, but that's okay. Alright, to come to the side here, I colored in the fender going all the way around in chrome as well as a chrome door handle and this vent on the side. <clears throat> I colored in most of the pump panel, uh, orange and blue, orange for uh, discharges, blue for your inlets, um, and then all the gauges and the door handles all got silver on them. It's kind of hard to tell with the chrome. On the... Reels on the top there, I painted um, the nozzles, I painted them silver. I painted the doors and your bottle holders or gas tanks, depending on which side of the truck you're on. I believe these are uh, the bottle holders and the gas tanks on the other side. Painted those all silver. I built my own hard suction hose out of uh, tube styrene can see there. The rear of the truck I painted in these there was nothing here for them so I just kind of dyed them the best I could but reverse brake and taillights both sides. I painted in the handle for the rear compartment doors uh, uh, silver as well or gray as well as well as red Pierce logo and then back onto the passenger side again Painted your gas cap, painted the door, hand handles again, silver. This truck didn't have a ladder, so I built a ladder for it out of square styrene and tube styrene, the same one I used for the hard suction hose. I know it's not really to scale, but I had to do what I had to do with them with it. This truck didn't come with a ladder. I painted the ladder holders black. I painted your passenger side discharges orange and did gray around this one 
and gray around this door handle as well. So there you go. That is the completed. Oh, and I did this all this stuff silver too on this side. So the uh, wheel well, this vent again here on this side, door handle on this side, and then this coming down to the Pierce logo where it would say Lance in the middle of that. So, all right, guys. That is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, as well as follow me on Instagram, Greenlight Fire Station 7. Thanks for following and stay safe.